How to remove a felony from your record. Having a felony on your record can cause serious problems even after you've served your sentence. Felons may have difficulty finding a job, renting an apartment or getting higher education. You may pay higher insurance premiums or higher interest on credit cards. These issues can be even more difficult to contend with if you never committed the crime in the first place. Fortunately, most states have procedures in place that can prevent these consequences and allow you to move on with your life. Getting your record sealed. Understand the difference between a sealed record and an expunged record. If a criminal record is sealed, it's hidden from the general public but still exists. Sealed records can actually be unsealed in some instances. Expungement, on the other hand, erases the record permanently. If your record is sealed, the felony typically will not appear when someone runs a criminal background check on you, as when you apply for a job or seek to rent an apartment, a greater than some states Illinois, for example, do not allow records of any felony convictions to be either expunged or sealed under any circumstances absent pardon from the governor. If your record is sealed, the felony typically will not appear when someone runs a criminal background check on you, as when you apply for a job or seek to rent an apartment. Some states Illinois, for example, do not allow records of any felony convictions to be either expunged or sealed under any circumstances absent pardon from the governor. Make sure the required time has elapsed since your conviction. All states require you to wait a few years after you've served your sentence before you can get your record sealed. During that waiting period, you should go out of your way to avoid any further brushes with the law. The waiting period may differ depending on the severity of your crime. For example, Massachusetts requires you to wait 10 years before applying to have a felony record sealed, compared to 5 years for a misdemeanor conviction. Know when the waiting period starts. In some states you must first complete any period of probation and pay all fines. In other states the waiting period begins the day you're convicted. Elsewhere it may begin on the day you leave jail. In many states, records may be sealed upon request after a certain period of time has elapsed without further review. However, you must maintain a clean record during that waiting period. Complete the state's forms. Documents for sealing your criminal record may be available at a state court or probation office. Legal aid offices may also have the appropriate forms. You may need to file other documents with the form, such as copies of your criminal record or the final order of conviction. Greater than you may need to file other documents with the form, such as copies of your criminal record or the final order of conviction. File or mail the state forms. The forms will tell you how to direct them to the right person for review. In some states, petitions to seal records are reviewed by a judge. In others you can mail them to the probation office. If you have to file your forms with a clerk of the court, expect to pay filing fees ranging from less than $100 to a few hundred dollars. If you have to file your forms with a clerk of the court, expect to pay filing fees ranging from less than $100 to a few hundred dollars. Attend your hearing, if necessary. Some states require a hearing before a judge or parole board in order to seal your record. In other states sealing a record is an administrative process requiring nothing from you apart from your signature on the petition. Ference ARIA label equals, link to reference 12, greater than you generally don't have to do anything if your petition is granted. Your records will automatically be sealed, although it may take some time for that to happen. If your petition is denied, you'll be informed of the reasons for its denial, the steps you can take to address those reasons, and when you can reapply to have your record sealed.